So I'm opening ViewScan, which is the software which I find really good for scanning. And the great thing about it is you can use it with so many different types of scanner. I'm using it with the old Epson 3200 Perfection. I have to check the names at the bottom of where, where the file is going, the direction and the name of the file. I've set this up to be scanning at 800 dpi which sounds low but i'm doing that deliberately because i want small files and i want to be saving these files uh, from my preview if i was to do really large files for print i would scan them separately but i'm going to do a preview first and here is the preview happening and this will scan, I've got two sets of negatives that I have put in. I've put it up dull side up. That's quite important to put it dull side up. Um, and as you can see, this is now scanning. Because as I said, my technique here is to do a preview. And then I'm going to select each of the photographs separately and with a separate name and then I can drop them into my editing program. A key thing is when you are preparing images is to think what the images are going to be used for and these images are basically for my camera videos to demonstrate how what the camera is capable of so I don't actually I'm not scanning these to make into perfect large prints if I was doing photography for myself and I was um, going to print these out so I've now got the little square I've selected the image I want I'm going to call that Pentats 1 so I made a bit of a you can see I've made a bit of a error when I um, spelt this <laughs> But I can then go to view and I can view the image and I'm going to repeat that. So I've got the little rectangle. I'm going to call that Pentax 2. I'm going to then save and it's ticked to say it's saved. If I wanted to, I could have a look at view, but I'm going to be quite happy. I trust the program and I'm going to go on and do all those 12 there. And then I will... They are all saved as JPEGs. You can save things in this program as PDF files, but again, for what I need, I need them as JPEGs. Um, they are set as 1900 by 1080. So that's a really good easy size for me to drop into the program. I then will illustrate to you um, what I do with them next. Thank you for watching. I hope that's been useful. Bye for now.